whenever we do get finished, whenever Wrath does get finished up and the whole will Cataclysm come out, is it gonna release? It's gonna spark a lot of people for debate because it is, I mean, I will already say before Cataclysm even comes out, Wrath has already changed it forever. Like it, it's not even begun in Cataclysm. Like Wrath has already became like a whole different thing from what we are used to classic WoW being, right? Heck, even from like vanilla to TBC. But let, let's see what the video is about, guys. And will change classic WoW forever. And I'm not just talking about the sudden influx of furries running around Stormwind. I forgot that Worgens was a thing in, in Keta. Wait, so that's when, like, uh, Gilneas was opened up and everything like that. ...advancing from the Stone Age into the Iron Age, as mm -hmm. if Garrosh had been playing too much Age of Empires. Thank you, though. Oh my god, no, this Cataclysm game. Cataclysm is a fundamentally different game yep. in many ways from what came before it. How do I know this? Because I was there, my friends, oh, all God. those years ago. <laughs> I remember the revamps, the class changes, the yeah. endless collection of disturbingly <sighs> sexualized tentacle weapons that slithered their way into the game. Nice. I played. It was really a different game, but I will say this though, guys: Vashir genuinely amazing leveling experience I from beginning to end yeah from the pre-patch where you had to run around orgrimmar clicking on those stupid infinity cubes oh my you god click on because taurans on mammoths using i don't remember that would cover them up you fucking dicks hey right through to the last days <laughs> pushing heroic dragon soul with my exceptionally militant cannibalistic Didn't do this. exclusively troll role-playing guild great guild by the way Terrible. Dude, a lot of those, like, I feel like a lot of the best times you can really have in, like, raiding and stuff like that is with those kind of roleplay people, man, because they just have a good time. It's not all about the sweaty parses and, like, you know, min-max and everything. It's just about min-maxing fun, which I know to a lot of people is probably pretty weird, right? Right, though. When I say that Cataclysm will change Classic completely, I like to think that I know what I'm talking yeah. about. Sort of. And yes, okay. I know we haven't had Classic Cataclysm confirmed at this point, Blizzard could absolutely it, surprise yeah. us all by turning around and promising Classic Plus, complete with new raids, new zones, and buffing oh. Jaina's cup size, all important additions from my point of view. What did he just say? Plus, complete with new raids, new zones, and buffing Jaina's cup size, all important. Listen, when I'm thinking of classic plus changes, I'm not necessarily thinking about those kind of things, okay? I'm more so talking about, like, revamping the, cl uh, the classes, some of the specs maybe a little bit, adding some new zones, adding some new dungeons and raids, okay? Important additions from my point of view. But if we're being honest, going ahead and releasing the next in-line expansion, namely yeah. Cataclysm, is the lazy, financially sensible, creative oh my bankrupt God. option. I'd like to think that the people running Activision Blizzard mm -hmm. want to pleasantly surprise their jaded audience by booking the trend and producing <laughs> something of both exceptional quality and astounding creative brilliance. Okay. But I also want to go to sleep at night on a bed made of solid gold molded to the contours of my body whilst being fanned by scantily clad maidens like a fucking okay. <laughs> fucking Persian emperor. But instead, right. I live in a rickety house that might as well be Noah's fucking ark because I live in the north of England and I fall asleep at night okay. to the sound of fat, drunk, bald men singing Sweet Caroline at the local pub two doors down from me. Trust me, Dude, we don't some of these, like, uh... Okay. We always get what we want. The point is, we're very likely to get classic Cataclysm. Probably am. And here's the thing. I enjoyed Cataclysm. The I references. had a great time in that expansion. I would go so far. I, I can't really say that for my, much for myself. Um, I quit Cataclysm and 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 I, and I almost at an hour, uh, a month into the expansion. So I actually like the original leveling. I like the initial like gameplay of it, but I quit really early on to it because a lot of my friends just didn't play anymore. But the best memories that I had yeah. in game, the most commitment I put into the game happened okay. during Cataclysm. For a myriad of Fair reasons, enough. not necessarily tied to the quality of the expansion. Oh, this picture, Why man. is it that I think that Cataclysm is so controversial for Classic WoW? And why okay. does it make me question the very future of Classic as a whole? Dude, I'm neck. Vulgrin, and today, my friends, I'll explain why Cataclysm will change WoW Classic forever. Okay. I won't mess you about. The answer to my question is actually pretty simple. All right. The very nature of Cataclysm prevents it from ever truly being classic in the sense of being part of the old school game. The world. It might have come out over 12 years ago, it might feel ancient compared to Dragonflight, and I am absolutely not knocking Kata in any way when I say this, but it simply doesn't fit the bill of classic well. What? It doesn't. It's a different game. It's where it really became retail at this point. I just cannot fathom 
that Cataclysm was 12 years ago. Because it was specifically designed to be the expansion that moved World of Warcraft on from the yep. original or classic trilogy of Vanilla, The yep. Burning Crusade, and Wrath of the Lich King. Which... It, it was technically, I, I know a lot of people say like WoW 2, like just burn down WoW and bring it up again. That's kind of in a way what Cataclysm did. Like they literally nuked the entire world and went in a completely new direction, right? Should come before it. And it did this by it changed everything. changing the world. If you play retail WoW today and you log into Stormwind and mm -hmm. Orgrimmar, if you explore the it main was world too, yeah. of Azeroth, obviously not counting any expansion-specific continents like Pandaria or the Dragon Isles, then the majority of what you will see and experience dates from Cataclysm. And yeah, I mean, pretty much. I don't see Cataclysm as a good thing if they focus on Classic to Wrath with updates would be better for the community. Uh, it's I wouldn't say that I... I I'm not going to say that I wouldn't play Cataclysm. I wouldn't try it out if they end up releasing it. But I would definitely love to see like a like a more Classic Plus kind of focused and like go down that route. I think that could be an amazing way of doing it. Just because Cataclysm is such a split thing with everybody, right? I know a lot of people probably would really love to see Cataclysm. I myself, I'm not really super against it i'm not really super for it either i'll probably try it out if they release it and then see what i think about it but i'm not like you know i'm just kind of like on the fence i'm not really for or against really i would argue that even the stories of the expansions mm -hmm. in the last 12 years originate with cataclysm in some form and this is especially true oh gosh Dragonfly. yeah true you see the first three iterations of world of warcraft had an advantage that couldn't be counted upon by the time of cataclysm this was a the original stories, right? It, Warcraft Three and stuff, I suppose. Of law and pre-made yeah. stories set up through the Warcraft RTS oh, the games, good, yeah. as well as a loyal fan base, many of whom had played or at least were familiar with some of those games. Mm -hmm. This background gave early World of Warcraft a sense of direction, and it added weight. You knew what to expect to in a way. World, while still leaving the developers with all the room they needed to create completely original content for it's the cool. game, like Arn Garage or Zul Garub. Most importantly, players knew that Man. they were going to have to come across key antagonists like Illidan or Arthur. Yeah, like whenever we're going to see, whenever we're going to see Arthur's, when's the Lich King going to come, right? If you're like a Warcraft 3 fan, you're like, oh my god, that's Rexor in, in, in Desolace, right? And stuff like that. It's, it's just cool. You see Balnasaur and Strad. Yeah, it's just amazing, right? So, sooner or later. From which Warcraft. Gave wow, a sense of momentum as the vanilla game transitioned into the Burning Crusade and then into Wrath. But by you're Cataclysm, biased? Of course I'm biased. This is a, a biased video. It's a biased opinion. Yeah, everybody's biased when it comes to this because it's like my opinion of what I think is amazing and my opinion of what I enjoy in a game. Yeah, it is very biased. Yes, of course. Not only yeah, had six it is biased. years passed since the original World of Warcraft had been released, but you had players who were joining the game who hadn't played mm -hmm. the original RTS games. Or if they had, they'd done so after starting with WoW. Blizzard had already yeah, a lot of people probably into it the regardless. stories of Illidan and Arthas, the two most standout antagonists <clears> of the <throat> earlier games, with both being dead and buried with fitting endings, which were true to their well-conceived characters and would absolutely, yep. oh. absolutely not be... Oh my god, when they disenchanted... Oh no, dude. Oh, when he turned into like an actual, like... Oh, that was such a... Dude, he had a good ending. It, he had a good ending in Wrath. Leave it at that. Don't have to bring it back for fan service or whatever, right? It was just... Oh. Retconned in order to prop up future expansions. <laughs> it's they fanfic, yeah. New. They wanted to move the game forward. Yeah, they, they brought Arthas back, but not really. He just got disenchanted and like his soul got peace. Like that, you know? I can't blame them, really. By the time that Cataclysm was on the horizon, much of the old content appeared outdated and clunky in a world where WoW was expected yep. to ascend to ever greater heights and modernize alongside other games of the time. Cataclysm was a very, very ambitious thing, though. You take something that clearly works, like the world of Warcraft, and you completely broke it and like changed it forever. It was genuinely like a very, very, very bold move, for sure. Right. The Lich King had demonstrated the innovative uses of phasing technology to yeah. advance the world and story in a game which was constantly live and not as easy to update in real time okay. as a single player game. Up until I will definitely try Cataclysm, even though I hated it back in the day. That's why I'm saying, like, I, I don't really have, like, a like a specific hatred towards it. A, a, am I a big fan of, like, how the MMO turned out to be? Not necessarily uh, do I hate Cataclysm. Not really, because I didn't really play it that much. So if it came out, I would probably try it, but I wouldn't be overly excited about it as I was with TPC and Wrath, right?
that point, you had to just pretend that nothing was Tal happening. Barad? Oh yeah, NPC, true. Who had tragically died at the end of a quest, suddenly reappeared in a state of perfect health, mm. having apparently risen from the dead like the fucking messiah. Cataclysm allowed narrative progression, which hadn't been seen in the same way before. Yeah, it's different. And whilst the main antagonist of the expansion was Deathwing, a character first introduced oh my all the way back in Warcraft 2 and referenced countless times in early World of Warcraft, the expansion spent most of its time exploring lore and characters, not at all new things, the right? story of Warcraft 3. Which Bro, is why are you not playing? Because we're watching a video right now. We'll play afterwards. ...focus of the first two expansions had been. And I can't understate how necessary this felt to a lot of players at the time. I guess. After all, many of us have been playing WoW for years, and with each new expansion, the Something new. process of creating a new character and plowing your way through an old world that was now largely obsolete, Felt yeah, wrong. I mean, at the time when Wrath came out, it kind of didn't matter the world anymore. And I will say, when I saw the trailer for Deathwing of him like flying over Azeroth and breaking everything, that was actually hype as hell. That was crazy hype. It was a melon. It, it was insane to see. And they managed to build up hype with it, you know, like yeah, that. More of a chore. On reflection, I think this was just. It was the best expansion trailer. It was amazing. How Blizzard approached expansion design, such as focusing almost all of their new content into new continents, mm -hmm. disconnected and in many they cases do know how to hype. locked off from lower level players in the old world. By the time that Cataclysm was drawing near, there was a feeling among many that the world needed some sort of a revamp, not just to make the Makes low sense. level experience more interesting, but to reflect the changes to a world which had seen the deaths of Arthur, like Kildan, yeah. and a host of other notable heroes and villains. But much like the last alliance of men and elves, seeing that Sauron was about to oh drop gosh. a fat dump all over their world, there were some players who resisted. The dude who got me into WoW all those years ago was one such character. He played, you guessed it, an undead rogue. Oh gosh, named of course. Yes, that was the actual name of his character. Dude, it's always the undead male, man. Whether it's a warlock or a rogue or whatever, it's always those guys, man. They just attract a certain, you know... And he was, in fact, a very highly ranked arena player and experienced raider. God. Whilst okay. I was at this time busy embarrassing myself in the halls of reflection on a Tauren death knight. Oh, my finest moment. <laughs> I remember around this time discussing Cataclysm with my friend and explaining okay. that I was looking forward to it. Didn't they explain so Undead Warrior? I feel like Undead Warrior is a little bit different. Undead Warrior looks cool, but like Undead Rogue, Undead Mage, Undead Warlock, they're all just kind of... You know? So many of the new areas seemed really interesting and it would feel like a completely fresh start. Mm -hmm. What he said in return was that he knew a lot of players who were considering quitting the game or at least having doubts about their future because yeah. once Cataclysm came along, everything would change. It would be different. Would be like a totally different game from the one they knew and loved. People don't like change, man. They do not, man. All right, like there's all it, it, just with everything, whether it's video games or in real life or school or work, people just like doing the same thing. Just like they know their little happy place, they know their little safe zone, and that's it, right? No I changes. Point, yeah, we can start to see some of the issues that we will face with classic Cataclysm. Okay, like it or not, this expansion is going to revamp Azeroth. And For the real, they love their bubbles. The yep. World of vanilla. So inspired by the vibrant, unique style of Warcraft the 3, fifth horseman. to the world of Cataclysm, which I at least find so, Damn, so different to yeah. retail WoW, will be nothing short of jarring for many. Okay. Now I think that at this point it's important for me to talk about the positive elements of Cataclysm. Because okay. Despite what some may say, the expansion has probably some of the raiding and stuff like that he's going to mention, right? I figure. Not going for it, I would argue that it's actually the most underrated expansion in WoW's history. Okay. After all, came with a massive amount of content, not only revamped. I, it is so weird how humans could not never be hunters before this. I don't understand that still. Like, why couldn't you be a human hunter? Content, not only revamping the whole. It's really world, weird. But also introducing two new playable races, oh, Paladin Torrens, and a continent's worth of new zones for. It was so strange, players. yeah. When new class race combinations revamped classes such as the hunter, which gained the focus resource. Kind oh of yeah. Ironic, considering that the average hunter player spends most of their day focusing on whether mom will be cooking turkey Twizzlers <laughs> or chicken tendies for dinner. <laughs> yeah, were focus two for hunters. On top of a winter grasp inspired open world PvP area, the rat. which was shit sadly, but could have been cool, as well as some top quality patch content in the form of the molten front, and of course, mm. let's not forget about Ooh. the fangs. Oh. oh, the legendary tentacle dagger for the rogue, right? Um, 
So yeah, there was God. a lot of content in Cataclysm, some of which was pretty good guess... actually, and there was a lot of change and novelty, which differentiated it from what had come before. Here's the thing. If you look at any of the graphs showing the population of World of Warcraft, mm. something Blizzard used to actually produce Fill off a little before, bit. you know, the dark times came. Before the incident, I was so disappointed with this expansion, man. Mate, I was so hyped for this thing, man. Warlords of Draenor, man. It, oh, because it, it gave me so much like Burning Crusade vibes. I actually really, really enjoyed the leveling um, the first time around when I did the leveling originally, like in Draenor. Really loved it. But then I just got max level and I just didn't care anymore. You will see that the beginning of the decline of WoW's player base happened in... I want Marvel and stuff. And the drop That's what I see a lot of people are saying. When it comes to, like, classic, a lot of people are saying they want up to Mob and then no more. Off ...was significant. By the tail end of the Mob was at fault. Yeah, okay. As for all, okay. population had dropped to levels not seen since the early Burning Crusade five years earlier. Oof. Why was this? I'd be lying if I said I had all the answers. It mm. wouldn't be a good video if I didn't charge in there like a group of college-age white girls charging the dance floor when the Tay-Tay song comes on. Okay. Some people will tell you that the changing interest of gamers and the development of other genres of online gaming into the mainstream, beyond MMOs, were the real reasons why WoW started to lose subs. Uh, Others will say that a significant... I, I think a lot of the people that like liked WoW for like the MMO style kind of like stopped enjoying it but new players that liked the new style of of mmo that bobby came started playing and maybe it was a little bit less but it was just it attracted a different player base right of a player base we're just growing up or moving it was definitely pretty cool because i do agree yeah. as long as six years at the point of cataclysm's release i mean that last one is a pretty strong argument isn't it it's where six it got divided a lot a long time and i don't doubt that it was a big wake-up call for a lot of young lads reaching adulthood only to realize that their collection of Ooh. legendary weapons immortal title and black karaji battle tank were about as impressive to potential girlfriends as their wallet full of dragon kill points was to their mother whilst explaining why they didn't need to get a job wait 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 what are you hey hey Listen, I just want to say, more you'll think it's really, really awesome and super hot that I got ranked 14, by the way. Okay, like genuinely, guys, in-game react, in-game like rewards are super badass. Like girls love it. Okay, let me tell. Like if you're ranked 14, if you got a garage, a battle tank, or something like that, dude, they think it's so hot. I'm not gonna lie, it's crazy. Job. But I don't think it's that so. Yeah, no, okay. You see, Cataclysm started off with the highest number of subs World of Warcraft had ever seen. If okay. we look at this graph, we can see that the population grew throughout Wrath. Even if Dude, look at the VOD. Look at the VOD expectation, by the way. Dude, this trailer just generated so much hype. Like, I, I was one of these 10 million right here. I had quit since that dot right there. That's where I quit. And I didn't come back before here. If it was at a slower rate... Yeah, it fell off a cliff after, yeah. The drop-off in Cataclysm was sharp. To me, that doesn't signify a slow slide. What did you do for four years? I had a period of that, that time in my life where I actually just didn't play video games. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened with myself that in th during those years, but I actually didn't play video games during that time, really. Then I came back and I uh, played... I, I got into League of Legends. I, uh, I started playing League of Legends. You left the game naturally. But rather a general dissatisfaction with the expansion among players which no. outweighed the number of newcomers trying it out. Okay. If you ask me, and yes, I am a bit of a classic Andy, I get it, I think yeah. the reason why Cataclysm started to hemorrhage subs is because it took away the things which made early WoW so great. It was different. Sweeping these features yeah. away to be replaced by so-called quality of life improvements. As a, a lot of the people that liked WoW for what it was, the MMO style, whatever, up to Wrath, they quit in Cataclysm, but a lot of people really liked the, the direction of it, and then they started playing. So yes, they had less subs, but there was like... It, it's where the, the, the player base really got divided, I think, into classic Andes and retail enjoyers, right? I, I think that's when it really happened for the first time. ...that sought to holistically modernize the game. Yeah. What do I mean by this? Well, Cataclysm launched with LFD and with heirlooms, and by the okay. end of the expansion it had LFR as well. So by Dragon Soul, you could experience every piece of content the game had to offer without ever needing to speak to another Can player. Queue up. You know, 
Unless you wanted to do arenas, I guess. Wrath babies were a thing already. I think the whole LFR thing and stuff like looking for, uh, looking for I guess looking for raid wasn't a thing, but LFD was right in, in, in Wrath, uh, at least I suppose. Wrath babies were a thing already. Yeah, that's true. The revamped world content was significantly more forgiving than what had come before. The game stopped being easy. Um, to a certain degree, I actually kind of do agree with you. Yeah, I, I, I think the game did become a lot more difficult, at least the end game, right? Like when you go from vanilla where it's like, you know, some normal dungeons with the boys, you're doing like 40 man uh, ra raids. They're not really hard. There's just a lot of people. Um, it actually became a lot more difficult, right? Uh, Kata was much harder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly what I'm saying. Cataclysm was a lot harder. That A lot of people quit the game because it's actually like a lot harder. Yeah as well and it disincentivized grouping up which is such a common Same even with wrath vanilla, to a certain degree PC, but yeah, I, 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 i'm agreeing with so you ronnie uh, romi sorry help. this was made worse by the ever-growing dominance of heirlooms which not only provided significant power advantages to players using mm -hmm. them over those that didn't have them but also further directed players to try and level as fast as possible to the yeah. exclusion of actually enjoying the world around them I mean, people already kind of do that in vanilla as well, and like, you know, that's just how people are, I think. That's not necessarily only the default of Cataclysm or the new revamping. I think this is how people are. I, a lot of people just want to get through it no matter what, even in vanilla, right? Worse still, Cataclysm turned the idea of guilds into an absolute abomination by okay. introducing a guild leveling system with perks. A terrible, oh! poorly conceived idea which resulted in thousands of new players being caught by the fucking child catcher. I remember swept that. Up into enormous cesspool guilds where they would land. Was this where you could level your guilds up and like you got perks? Yeah, you got perks by being in a guild. So like the higher, yeah, something like that forevermore yeah let's not forget that the system was so batshit insane it let you teleport your entire group if you had the guild perk meaning that you could effectively deep strike your raid behind enemy lines like a fucking squad of terminators oh god to cut a long story short cataclysm was the first expansion which i think really emphasized a race to the finish approach Many mm. of the issues I've identified here really began in Wrath, if not earlier, but Cataclysm was the first expansion yeah. to be designed around the very concept of modernizing the game. I, 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 think, even, I, think, I think Wrath really just started doing that kind of thing already. I, like, the, the whole endgame being more, very, very more important than that. Glory of the Heart Mode Wrath is better than anything in Cata for difficulty. Uh, I really can't speak too much on that, because I, I genuinely didn't raid in Cataclysm. I, I did a few dungeons at max level, and I quit the game to be as streamlined as possible, not only do you make it less fun, but you also make it way too efficient. Mm -hmm. Quality of life improvements can be a good thing. <laughs> not only cause new players to speed when you game in a matter of weeks, leveling to max in a fraction of okay. the previous time this would take, only to run three heroic dungeons for a few days, and then jump into an LFR group which would show them the last boss of the game. The fresh world of Warcraft experience used to be a case of slowly chewing and digesting a delicious, balanced, satisfying meal. After Cataclysm, uh, yeah. it was like shoveling half a kilo of salted cashew nuts down your gullet and washing it down with a pint of black coffee. That I, I think I, I do agree with the sentiment what he's saying, but I think that more so uh, that more so applies to yeah, I mean up towards like TBC vanilla ish, like TBC and vanillas. That's mostly the the leveling where that's important, right? Wrath is is to a certain degree also a, a, a lot about the end game as well in a way, right? But. It, it is definitely where it like solidified itself to be like an end game uh, experience for the most part. Yeah. Shit was out of your system before you could even make it to the bathroom. Not that I know anything about that. <laughs> Ultimately, mm -hmm. I think that a lot of people, myself included, will play classic Cataclysm. I'll at try least it for a while, even though a lot of the content. Yeah. Type one in the chat if you'll try. Type a two in the chat if you want. From that expansion, Just, can yeah, in chat. What's up, Gambling Fish? Still the experience today. It's always different. See, a lot of people saw content is current. It's like 50 50. There are features like the Molten Front and all of the Firelands, honestly. Okay. As well as 50 50 the, ish. Of the Father Quest line, which I would really enjoy experiencing. Still, I think that Classic Cataclysm will experience diminishing returns when it comes to the population compared mm. to previous versions of Classic WoW. Yep. It just isn't enough to make Cataclysm stand out either compared to earlier versions of WoW or to modern retail WoW, which I think would make it appealing to a large portion. I, I will say the people that are enjoying like Endgame or Wrath right now probably will, I think will probably like Kata as well. If you're playing like the, the current version of like Endgame Wrath in the classic, you probably will enjoy Kata as well. I, I think so. People are going, what the hell? There's an denial, course, it's okay though. gain access to every Blizzard run version of WoW with I'll try it. You only have so much of that most oh, precious you guys will of resources. Watch, you guys will watch a little bit? Oh, thank you guys. It comes you guys down so to a contest between hardcore classic 
a reboot of the original trilogy with fresh servers, yeah. Classic Plus, or modern retail. Oh wow. my god. I simply There's don't... just so many versions of the game, man. We're so split, dude. It's so ridiculous. When, he, when you hear it like that, it's... The community is so split, man. I think that Cataclysm would have much of a chance pulling people from those versions of the game to play it instead. But mm. hey, that's just my opinion. Okay. What do you think? Will we definitely see Classic Cataclysm? Probably. Has Blizzard got something else planned? Do you think Cata would be good for Classic, or do you agree with me that despite its strong points, the expansion simply doesn't fit in with the concept of Classic World of Warcraft? Let me know in the to comments, To a certain my degree, friends. yeah. As always, I'd love to hear from you. I've got so much more planned for the channel in the coming weeks, so if you aren't subscribed already, you should go ahead and treat yourself. Okay. I really hope you enjoy this video. I did put a lot of time into it, and I hope it yeah, I could the tell. message across that I was trying to convey. But until the next episode, guys, please be well, and I will see you later. Bye bye I like this guy. I like this Vulcran guy. He's like a... Uh... It's not a new YouTuber, but like he's he's been making some VAR videos here and there. I really, really enjoy them. He comes up with some good points, guys. Uh, he's almost at 7k subs there. He's getting there slowly. I'll link the video right here, guys. If you want to watch it yourself, you want to give it a like, support the boy. Gotta support our VAR content creators, guys, okay? There is not a lot of us left, okay? So show some support to them. I'll link it right there, guys.